Before we get started, we gotta check out this mic. See if it's working. This is real close to the mic. This is far away from the mic. Well, not so far. Man, you're a quick shadow. You're like quick draw McGraw. You're like right there the second I start. <laughs> Sorry if you've been waiting. Let me get the lights all hooked up over here. I got a kit come in today. I want to do a little opening. We're streaming to YouTube and Twitch uh, right now to try to uh, hook people into going over to uh, the Twitch channel to, to find all the goodness that we're going to do tonight. And we're actually going to uh, run the commercial music. Screw the, screw the money. We're not going to be... Who, who, who cares about all that jazz? Not me. Me and uh, Shadow Wolf have been building an epic playlist. Which you just gotta listen to. I've been thinking about putting some Ozzy Osbourne in there tonight. What do you think about that, Shadow? Put in the request, buddy. It's there. Actually, I had to send my son to space camp today. He's been going to space camp. My daughter's going next week. It's kind of the, the interesting thing about my kids is... Uh, the one's going to figure out what's going on in the entire solar system, and the other one wants to travel to Mars, so I got a little bit of each. I love it how Twitch is so responsive. You know, the thing about Twitch uh, that I really like is that, you know, on YouTube, you never really get the notifications that you're online. And uh, really, you, you were online two seconds after I started streaming, which is perfect. I'm streaming. So Shadow, was the music too loud? Perfect. Thanks for the feedback, buddy. You know, it's a real pleasure having you around to uh, help me get things so that they're real nice. That's that's awesome. I really appreciate that. K 
Okay, let's forget about this damn timer and get into it. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see over on the desk, we've got a package. We're going to open it up. And the score is right now is that uh, we're going to try to encourage people to go over to Twitch. Uh, if you look down below in the description of the video, you'll find a link to Just Another Scale Modeler on Twitch. And uh, you'll be able to watch us. And the differences between the stream here and the stream there is that we're going to have... Uh, song request abilities. You can pick any kind of song you want. It's gonna be It's gonna be like watching modeling and listening to Ozzy Osbourne or Gone with the wind or some crazy southern rock that uh, my buddy shadows got going on and I, It's pretty fine stuff. I gotta say it really is there's some soul into it, it You know the south the southern rock has soul but the thing is is we'll be able to watch or listen to great music, talk about the models, and uh, build an epic kit. Now I know what's inside this kit, I'm not telling you. You're going to have to find out in a couple of seconds. Roll Tide. I had to look that up the other day. I, I think I'm supposed to, or I think a whole crowd of us are supposed to say, Roll Tide! You know, or something like that. You guys, you Alabamans. <laughs> So, uh, let's get, let's get this started. This playlist on YouTube here is going to have some heavy music and stuff like that. That's okay. Uh, uh, we're going to switch the camera here, go over to the desk. I'm not going to do much talking while we're opening it because I don't have a microphone over there yet. We're going to try to get that upgrade within the next few weeks, uh, Probably with my Patreon bucks. I want to thank my patrons. Shadow included. Patrick Rivard who came in yesterday. You can see uh, up on the left hand side that he followed yesterday on Twitch. Uh, if you donate through the links provided, it will go up on that list too. So if you want to get your name in lights, it's up there uh, forever and ever. Yeah, it's, it's Shadow says down here, call, actually, if I go like this, we got chat. This is a good way to start the show. There we go. I got the chat over the side. I'll move this over because the wife doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Alabamian. Give me a weird eyebrow there, buddy. Shadow says, hey, Ron's right wife. Hi, Shadow. Say it louder. Hi, Shadow. I think he heard you. <laughs> okay, let's go over to the table. Let's get this camera rocking.
Okay, what you're looking at here is the Southside Ho Hotel. Uh, but, you know, uh, I just want to say before... Oh, we got glare, do we? Let's fix that. The box will be gone in a minute, don't worry. So I just want to point out before we start pulling out the parts here, if you purchase this kit, <coughs> you're not going to receive this kit in this manner. Uh, I get, uh, imagine that laser art kits like this because I am uh, A long time builder. I the first kit I built for Imagine That Laser Art was back in 2008. So uh, please don't think that if you get a kit from Imagine That Laser Art, they're not going to package in it a, in a box. I told him a long time ago that uh, you know don't put it in a box. Don't waste a box on me because I'm just going to throw it out in the garbage and I don't need any more. I got enough probably pull you out three or four that's holding out spare parts and and all all my little stuff that was supposed to get thrown out the wife said throw that stuff out and I said no it's going in this box and I've got enough boxes so we don't get boxes this is going to be two kits built into one it's going to be a kit bash uh, I was actually expecting one kit but this is obviously two and uh, I'll have to call the client tomorrow to figure out how he wants it finished. But tonight, this is going to fly by the seat of our pants because that's how we roll. Grab your beer. Let's get ready. I keep these bags. 
So clearly this is a very large kit. Uh, Hi Ron Brights, how you doing? I'm just looking over the chat here to catch up. Is the glare only there when I'm at the desk itself? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm sh uh, uh, blocking uh, some of the glare. I have the door open too, which means that there's daylight coming through the door. We might be over bright. I can turn off some of those lights. Uh, Shadow, you know what the great thing about Imagine That Laser Art is? Is that at the beginning, uh, the original owner, uh, well, let me just say it this way. The hardest part about making a kit is that, you know, when you're designing a kit, you're designing the kit itself. And most designers design from the model point of view. Once they get done the model, they almost feel like they're finished. Except for the fact that I think that that is a mistake. And that's how the original owner of this company worked. He's an artist. And this isn't a slam on his character or the way he builds these things. When he started building these companies, he had no experience. And he had to learn all these things on his own. And I had the opportunity of learning that along with him at the same time. Except for the fact that I didn't have no control over the things that I was hearing uh, out in the public so I, I would describe these things and you know it would be wouldn't be any of my business if those uh, ideas were taken on or not uh, instructions are very hard and at the beginning it was it was uh, much like a Lego uh, instructional manual where it'd be like photographs kind of implying your next step 
because the language of how we all learn is totally different right so uh these new instructions that are being made by the new owners of imagine that laser art are much more robust uh uh you know when when uh, nick bought the company he took a lot of feedback from uh you know the public and uh, their custom builders he won't say it in public nick i'm gonna have to rectify that sometime buddy <laughs> But uh, the instructions are uh, heavy. And you know what? They're still photo intensive. They're still like Lego. But they also have that uh, verbal instruction or the written instruction that help those people who need to read along. You know? Uh, the lucky thing for me is, you know what? If it's a picture book, I read the whole story. So, uh, Shadow, just to note for you, we have a, uh, we have Ron Brights over in YouTube, and, uh, we have, uh, Jose, we have Jose over on, uh, Twitch, uh, Jose, welcome. Uh, please follow. I'm going to build this model over the next few days, and I hope you enjoy. So let me get over to the desk again. Uh, I'm kind of itching to get into this build. Because I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what the color I'm supposed to paint these bricks, and uh, that's what I kind of want to get to before. You know, I got to whip this kid out. It's kind of summertime need the dough you know what I mean to our music did you turn it off on us shadow there or what hey Billy how you doing we're starting up the Southside hotel build it's a dual it's <laughs> it's a double kit so I'm gonna have to kit bash it into one Uh, the thing is, uh, Billy, we're going to move over to Twitch in about an hour. Yeah, yeah, I know your excuses, buddy. <laughs> Just kidding. He's giving you a hard time. We're going to listen to some good music and get your, your, your your mod stuff going on I know you're I know what you like it's a little it's a little, a little funky I like cure <laughs> let's get on over there
Almost sounded like we got a new follower. I wanted to find out who they were. So to do the jukebox thing, Billy, will be an exclamation mark, song request, all one word, and you can put the band name in uh, alone and it'll find the best relevant search for that and put it in the list. Uh, if you want a particular song, you put band name, song. So I'm going to uh, White Stripes. Seven Nation Army, it says in the... It doesn't go over on YouTube. But, uh, we got Seven Nation Army. And, uh... That was pretty funny. Uh, Billy put in a song request of The Viewer, and it figured out The Cure. <laughs> Good one! It's smart, isn't it? So I want to point out something for people who don't really know much about uh, wood laser cut kits. Uh, the windows that you're looking at right now on the screen are called a micro plywood. Uh, there's all kinds of names. It's just micro ply. It could, some people call it aviation plywood and stuff like that. But the point I want to point, the thing that I want to point out is that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of trial and error when a laser cutter is purchased. Uh, you have to focus it, you have to keep make sure it's clean, you have to vent all the smoke out of it so that it doesn't smudge all your lenses up, all that jazz. And, uh, <laughs> Shadow just requested beer in the chat. It's not gonna happen, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a hashtag cheers beer. There we go. Uh, but the thing is, is that, uh, so again, I'm not cutting up uh, the old uh, owner of the company. I'm just stating the experiences that we've had in the past. And part of the things that uh, uh, Nick has learned while being the owner of Imagine, the second owner of Imagine That Laser Art, is that of, is is some of the lessons that Mark learned while being the founding uh, owner of the company. And uh, one of them is is having a proper laser cut on your wood. We don't want to. Uh, push out the many little pieces to get these windows Burr. Excuse me right on cue with the uh, Shadows uh, beer burp there uh, But <laughs> excuse me uh, But what you'll see here is that these sheets are uh, finely cut and uh, most of the parts will 
push right out of the sheet without any trouble at all. And some of the parts are sitting there just through static or just the will to stay, you know, part of the group. Uh, but the thing is, is that uh, it's very nicely cut. And as you can see that these uh, pieces, they don't require any work to pull the pieces of wood out of the windows, which is, is fairly difficult uh, on a model. Uh, um, You know, you'll find a lot of model uh, wood manufacturers out there really don't have a handle on their laser just yet. And uh, I'll, I just want to compliment Nick on the fact that, uh, uh, you know, he, he works in an automotive factory. And you know what? I think that has something to do with his quality control. And this is clearly a kit that has a lot of quality control QC behind it because these windows are perfect. Hey Sparky, how you doing? Uh, just a note, Sparky. Uh, we've got uh, probably about 20 minutes left and we're going to move over onto Twitch. The link is down in the description. And we're going to listen to rock and roll. Ozzy Osbourne, you know, all that stuff while I build these, south, these Imagine That Laser Art Southside Hotels. Uh... There's two of them. So it's not... It's not no run-of-the-mill build this time. Uh, tonight we're going to be painting the wood. And uh, we're not probably going to get very far on that front. Actually, before we move any further, let's find the kit on the Imagine That Laser Art site and uh, get some views So the YouTubers can't see your chat. No. Shadow. Uh, let me do this. But it, it, it is getting put together. Uh, Sparky is up there somewhere. No, it's not in there, is it? What a bugger. See... That's why Twitch is better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gotta go over here to IT ITLA scale models. And uh So Shadow Wolf says hi Sparky. You're a busy beer. Sit down for a pint, have a break. Billy says, hi, Sparky. He can probably see it now. Gotta make sure this music keeps on rolling. There we go. So there's our Southside Hotel on the website. And, the like, and I like what he's done to it because he's left the yellow brick, the, the raw wood showing through. And he painted the pilasters uh, red. Hi, Patrick. How are you this evening? Uh, just a note, in about 20 minutes, we're going to be shutting off of on YouTube and going over to Twitch so we can listen to uh, that music list we were building last night. Uh, just trying to get people uh, over there when it, so they don't f feel like they're missing out. Uh, this is another picture of the Southside Hotel. You can see that there's uh, fire escapes on there. I really enjoy making these fire escapes. They've actually, uh, uh, they've actually uh, improved drastically over the years. They're now sort of a tab and slot style, which makes them much easier than their original design. So I really love making them now. Uh, when I first started making them, it was for a series of four Albany Towers, which has about 30 fire escapes on each kit. So I'm... I've probably built uh, at least 200 of these fire escapes. <laughs> and uh, I gotta say, 
it's really uh, I really appreciate uh, uh, you know these little design features like uh, uh, tabs to uh, push the uh, to, to make everything align perfectly I gotta see if I can find the kit Now my internet's fairly slow because I'm streaming to the wet. Yes. So everybody who wants to go over to Twitch, it's down below in the description. Yeah, you can see me. Okay, so building kits. Where's the south side? Where's the south side? So I've built, ah, uh, let's see. This is a variation of the Lion's Head Hotel. It doesn't have the front. I've built a number of these. I built. Uh, I did a review on the Cooper's Alley kit. I did a review on the uh, factory building 3-in-1. Uh, Albany Towers, I've built probably about five or six of them in total. Uh, uh, one of my favorites is the Sherwood building this is a really nice looking kit and actually in n scale this kit over here is totally made out of micro plywood and is a beautiful kit to build the n scale version is wonderful it is like it's much different because these bigger kits are made out of mdf and the mdf is 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 a full eighth of an inch maybe even a quarter of an inch thick and the, the N scale micro ply building is about a sixteenth of an inch thick. So it's a really nice structure. I haven't built the Grimsby station. It's kind of a specialized kit, one off kind of thing. Uh-oh, we've got Jennifer White in the call. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Jen. It was great talking to you, Patrick. I hope uh, Twitch works for you because it it is it is a really nice platform. Um, it, I found out that uh, Shadow has troubles using uh, Safari on it. Uh, but uh, Chrome works uh, fairly nicely. So look at this kit. Now, this is a beautiful kit. I love the awnings. I wonder how I'm going to do it back to back. Maybe the client wants me to do it uh, super tall. That's a possibility. And, I, and if I had to do it super tall, I'd have to cut off the bottom uh, commercial area here. This is pretty cool. Well, that one's pretty dirty. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's beside a coal yard. What can I say? I don't know. This one's a better picture to look at. I like the vines, too. They really look nice going up the side. And you, uh, Nick's done a lot of work on his roof details. And you can see that they, they really stand out and are a really nice part of the kit. I don't think it's a good idea to put a ladder to the roof. Those kids these days. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The sign isn't LED. It is a uh, laser cut MDF. Uh, but uh, it is a 3D. It's 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 etched out so well it's not etched out it's cut out and it's uh it's thick it's about a quarter inch thick so it's got a substantial uh footprint and if you paint it white or yellow or something like that it really stands out a lot um 
And you know, as I'm talking to you here, I'm looking at the kit and I'm going over the colors of what I want to do it in. And uh, you see, when you're building structures for people, it's not your structure. But the thing is, is that it's my job to be able to guide the conversation when the client uh, doesn't really know what he wants. He just loves the footprint of the kit. You see, this is a really nice kit. And the thing is, is that uh, uh, inside story, the inside baseball story on this kit is that uh, uh, Nick had the opportunity to talk to George Selios at the uh, uh, Fine Scale Expo last year in uh oh mashes you know what you know what i mean by boston by boston uh and uh uh, uh george Selios of fine scale miniatures said he uh, complimented nick on how nice the kit was and uh bought one off of him and uh so it really is uh, is an attention grabber, and that that's for even the old good guys, you know, like uh, George Selios, my hero. Bye, Jen. Have fun on that porch. I think you have to build it. Said maybe you have to do it. I don't know. Try doing it in no skill with my eyes closed, buddy. It would be like building braille in braille. <laughs> <laughs> you are from, you're from uh, Mass, Billy? That's pretty interesting. I'd love to visit there sometime, I gotta say. Uh, so I just want to tell everybody who's on the call right now, uh, we're over on Twitch. We're, we're double streaming over onto YouTube right now. But in a few minutes, we're going to cut from YouTube and go directly to Twitch because we get much less lag. It's almost instantaneous, the, the stream to Twitch. So uh, it's really nice to chat with each other. And uh, we're going to listen to some rock and roll. Uh, not this fancy mu uh, dance music. It's going to be uh, something really fun. And if you want to request some music, any music, I don't care could be no effects it could be uh julio glacius um or somebody else i don't know if you like some french stars <laughs> 90 nufty nuf luf balloons hey that's a good song what is that see this is how it works song request 99 red balloons I hope it gets the punk version oh I don't know what oh I did okay so I gotta look over here see what we grabbed oh, yeah we got the original I forget who did the uh I forget who did the uh, the punk version. Was this a six foot pole or? The 90s. They were so long ago. 100 years ago at least. It was last century, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that song's gonna rock. So, uh, I hope you like what we're seeing here. I oh, hope you're interested. Uh, we're going to uh, go over to Twitch pretty soon. We've got 10 minutes to go. Sparky, thank you for the follow. I love it. See? When you follow or subscribe or donate, it all comes up on the list. There's no hidden, hidden sources. There's no, there's no money under the table, any of that stuff. It's all open. I'm an open book. And if you got any questions about the models that I'm building, the glue that I'm using, if I said to do it some other way and I'm doing it the opposite way, 
tell me. Be, be, be with Shadow and, and catch me when I'm doing it wrong. Because I do it that way sometimes. Uh... So yeah, so if you're interested in watching this uh, stream for the next couple hours, thanks Ron Brights for the follow. You're on the list. Rock and roll, it's working. This is cool when it works, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's <is> really cool. <laughs> So, uh, the second we go over to, uh, uh, Twitch, we'll be able to, uh, get some of this lag out of the system. Uh, you might notice that the photos, the, the video is much more clear than it was in weeks past. We've been working on that. Uh, we've had a few upgrades to the system. We've got more upgrades to go. Uh, we actually need a complete overhaul, but we're... We're doing what we can, you know what I mean? Just to share the hobby and get things put out there. Uh, so, uh, oh, you want to be a moderator over there, do you? Let's see if I can get you to be a moderator. There you go, Spark. Yeah. So being a moderator is the kind of thing where, you know, you can share a link to the crowd. If somebody comes in and starts talking crap and, you know, taking the fun away, uh, you know, that's what that's for. If you want to be a moderator, contact me off. Uh, line uh, using my perry.ron at gmail.com address and I'll make you if you're a good friend if I trust you no problem uh, we're probably going to have a max of about five moderators I think we've got three or four right now so uh, thanks for watching We've got about five minutes left to go. Yeah, Shadow, if you check the little crown in the top corner, you can become a, a Prime... You can connect your Prime account to Twitch to get rid of the ads, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you've done that yet. This music has cut off on us twice. The buggers. That's why I like Twitch. You don't have these problems over on Twitch. You know what I mean? So, uh, last chance. Uh, we got, uh... We're gonna have the stream open over on Twitch. The link is down in the description. Once I stop this video, it's gonna archive itself and then go public. To people on both of my channels, Ron Perry and Just Another Scale Modeler on YouTube. And if you want to see the rest of the video here tonight for the next couple of hours and listen to great tunes, uh, click that link and go over there. You have good fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we got three people over on YouTube still. So please, uh, if you want to watch this build, me build this uh, Southside Hotel. Let's get another look at it. The Southside Hotel we're building. Well, I've got two of these kits. And the client uh, hasn't given me instructions if he wants to make it a 40-story building or a double wide. we got to figure that out. Excuse me. Uh, so please come on over to Twitch. It's going to be fun. I promise. I have some Coca-Cola. It's going to be semi-PG. Semi. -PG. semi. <laughs>
This is gonna be rock and roll and it's gonna be loud. <laughs> Hello, Ambus. Thanks for coming back. Now, like I said, I'm going to pull the stream down. Uh, I'm going to pull the stream down, and we're going to go over to Twitch. And the reason I'm doing so is because it's it's a cleaner... It's, hard, it's, it's not as hard on my system. I don't have to hook up too many things, and it's, it's really good. So, uh, give me about 10 minutes, and I'll be, uh, up on Twitch and ready to rock with all our music. 